the Captain Falcon. Which means we're gonna play an up close game, lots of speed from uh, side B, and then the uh, range option, and also the air game might be in Periwinkle's favor. All right, both get a few hits in, even percentage. I might have been wrong about this air game though. Side B has that on lock right now. Periwinkle playing on that ledge. Not quite working out for him though. Nice back airs and then into a forward air. Disabled, going for the smash. That's gonna be the first life. Periwinkle only at 74%. That's still something that Captain Falcon can kill on, but only on a few of his more dangerous moves. Dangerous for the user and the one being hit. That might be it. No, he was not able to land the up B. That's always uh, Captain Falcon's staple, just going from that side B down to the up B. Uh, but because it's so staple, people know how to get around it. Periwinkle might be looking for the second stock here, though, on side B. I get back just in time, 100 to 100, but we are one stock down from side B side. Wait, Falcon. Okay, interesting. I I haven't seen side B whip the, the uh, Falcon out in bracket. I don't think. He's doing a good job. A nice job with the aerial game. It's um when they're on the ground and side B's uh he's disabled him once. Uh, he's thrown out those shadow balls, keeping the range as his game. Um, but yeah, when they get in the air, except for right there. Yeah, I mean, when you're that far out, though, it's kind of, it's really risky to throw out an option as Falcon, because it's really easy to just not be able to recover. Wow, that was a lot he of damage. He might be really eating fast. this up right now. Periwinkle says that's not happening, though. And he makes it up. You'll notice Periwinkle, when he goes for those little Shadow Balls, who usually throw three, he threw two there, and then he jumped for him. Probably because Side B knows this matchup. Holding Shield, so much patience on that. Knew that there was going to be a flurry of attacks coming out. No punish off it, though, unfortunately. Nice job going for the low option there. And tried to go for the spike, got spiked himself. Ooh. Periwinkle just saw the missed spike attempt and just let go of the ledge. That, uh, I'm, I'm coming down with you, but you're landing first. Gotta see, uh, I wanna see if we're gonna see that Falcon again, or if we're gonna go. Man, Saibi is just playing everything right now. Okay. He's the green Rilla. I mean, DK pro has to kill Mewtwo at like nothing, right? Although, I don't think uh, Congo Carry's gonna do him very good. <laughs> it's looking really good so far. Oh, oh. It was looking really good, but if he gets up off stage, he's in a bad spot in this matchup. He's definitely gonna have to be careful about where his uh, second jump goes. Going for the grab? No! Oh, he tried to roll through. Stops that. Nice little neutral there. Uh, charged up the smash too long, gave Side B the opportunity to get some good hits in, even up that percentage that was definitely in Periwinkle's lead. Oh my god! This called exactly the moment Side B was gonna dash in. Oh, I thought that spike was gonna kill. It did. It did. Kept him at 0% though. Ooh, covered the air dodge with a grab even. Like, look at this pressure going on. Got a grab on Ooh. that too. <laughs> that was the one I wasn't sure how he was gonna get. But he turns around, throws him against the stage. Oh, Saibi getting caught on the rolling on the jab again, but. Catches the, man, catches the missed tech with the uh, dash attack there. Would have caught tech in place and roll two and then side B, or up, I'm sorry, that is not side B. That is up B on, on the ground on the ledge. Periwinkle doing a good job of evening up the percentage. Looks for the Shadow Ball, because that would have uh, been a kill there, probably. 
Oh, he dodged the uh, up air, but put him in a bad spot frame-wise. Yeah, Nailed Perry Winkle smash. is definitely throwing out some strong stuff, and he's throwing out enough of it that uh, Nightby just has to dodge all of it, and it's put him in a rough spot. Yeah, and Perry Winkle just wants this match to end. He's like, he is just has thrown out so many aggressive, like, hard read options in the past 30 seconds. He's like, this this game's over. I'm done with it. But Side B managing to not get caught out by it too bad. And now he's got the stage. Let's see what he can do with it. Not much. He got pushed back to the outside again. Neutral is in Perry Winkle's advantage. Those air dodges are... Uh... Perry Winkle seemingly almost purposely going out towards the edges these times. Wants to draw it out there where he can finish this off. Yeah, because he sees it's that maneuver. He's like that confused back on the ledge. If he hits that... If, if Side B ends up giving that up, he dies. That has been something we haven't seen from him, at least in the last few matches, though. I don't know if he's placed, hit it earlier this uh, tonight, but he's not hitting that super consistently right now. I know I've seen him hit it at least once tonight, so he definitely its in his pocket. Oh! The one time! He hit it there! Oh my gosh, I missed that even. The one time that Side B didn't shield, he instead, like... Did he we? hit the disable too. No. I don't know if you saw that. He hit the disable. He did. He did. There he was a played. star above DDD's head, er, King Donkey Kong's head. Oh my gosh. That might have just been the finessing of the year right there. Like conditioned out the go for the down B on shield. Uh, you know, if he shields it, whatever, I'm okay. And then just the last time, like once he knew that it was what was going to happen. Throw out the forward smash. The and forward I'm, smash. Instead. It's like you said, he that's what he was relying on. He kept going for the disable. You know it, you read it. Side B read it. Yeah, but like forward smash. <laughs> like I can understand throwing out forward tilt and being like, this'll catch him. That forward smash has frames. Like <laughs> it takes a little bit. You feeling confident with that Donkey Kong now? Pulling it out a second time. Yeah, I'm not going to ask any more questions of the Donkey Kong pick. Still, though, that said, even then, that was a really close game, and Side B had to find a really hard read. Like, that is not a read Periwinkle is going to give up a second time. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Plus, this is a stage he's uh, not going to be able to do that thing where he threw him onto the stage again. He's not going to get that fun angle there. These are straight walls. Oh, Apparently that. that doesn't matter though. He's just going in. Tried to go for the spike. Yeah, man. He's, oh, that spike is just brutal. And that's an early lead going over to Saibi there, man. Just, just finding the big hits this game. Oh, speaking of big hits, goodbye. Oh, he didn't no. die though. He didn't die this time. Fair enough. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm just at the point where, like, anytime I see a confused hit, if it's above, like, 40, I'm just kind of like, he's dead, right? Not for characters as heavy as Donkey Kong, at least not always. Ooh. I love that forward tilt on Mewtwo. That is so satisfying. Has enough Was time. Was his shield? Did he just get shield poked by confused? I have words uh, about that. I, I don't think so. At least I don't think so. It was a very far disable, so I think Side B dropped it, and that's where he got the hit. Okay, I was gonna say because I thought that was a shield poke for a minute. I was about to be upset, like just at the idea that that can happen. I'm gonna rewatch this like right after it's done. You know that's gotta hurt because that was like the first time Side B has charged up his neutral B, and he missed it, but he still managed to get the clap. Yeah, Periwinkle misjudging his get-up attack distance by just a little bit. Understandable, given that Mewtwo's get-up attack distance is so long. Side B has that neutral B that we were just talking about fully charged up this time. Look at that. It's, uh, Periwinkle went to like just back air train him off the stage, and Side B is no. I'm gonna show. I'm, I'm gonna threaten a spike on that. Don't do that again. Both of them charged up. Ooh, Periwinkle moving in on that, hitting that nice neutral. It's such a such a good neutral. That Just was, like the multi-hits. Yeah, and Side B is really patient with that shield right now. Like he's catching the multiple, you know, attack strings onto his shield there. Dropped the spike. That was a hell of a spike. That was a hell of a spike. Yeah.
Two one going over to side B, pulling out Donkey Kong that I don't think I've seen him play <laughs> in losers finals. Honestly, surprise to everyone, but it works. It works. Damn.